Hello, doctor. Yes, hello there. You said that SmilePro allows for a quicker return to daily life compared to normal smile surgery. Because the procedure takes lesser time and causes relatively less surgical trauma, it's quite understandable. I recall you mentioned that unlike normal smile surgery, which requires about two weeks of caution after the surgery, Smile Pro only requires about one week. Yes, I usually say that as a general guideline, but it doesn't necessarily apply to every patient. Right after the surgery, during the follow-up examination, we make slight adjustments depending on the patient's recovery status. But as a rule of thumb, that's what I tell them. Any actions that could cause inflammation. Well, for example, excessive drinking, heavy smoking or activities like hair dyeing, perming or going to a sauna that can cause significant dryness, these are things you should avoid. For Smile, it's about two weeks and for Smile Pro, about one week. That's the general precaution period I recommend as it's a procedure that allows for relatively fast recovery. Is the reason Smile Pro has a faster recovery because the equipment has been upgraded? That's right. The procedure I perform isn't significantly different between Smile and Smile Pro. As you may know, the surgical process for Smile and Smile Pro consists of two main steps. We use a laser to treat both the front and back surfaces of the lenticule in each patient. And then the surgeon removes the designed lenticule from the outer cornea using a specialized instrument. This process is called lenticule dissection. So the laser application is the first step, and the second step is the lenticule dissection. It consists of two steps, however, both steps are a bit faster with Smile Pro. Smile Pro has an incredibly fast repetition rate and laser emission speed. Generally, when treating with the same parameters, optical zone size and diopter, Smile takes about 25 to 30 seconds of laser application time. In contrast, the Visumax 800 Smile Pro only takes about 8 to 10 seconds, so roughly about one third of the time, right? First of all, the surgery time is shortened there. When we shoot the laser, there is a device to fixate the eye called a treatment pack tip, which uses suction to hold the eye in place by applying negative pressure. During that process, some cells of the conjunctiva or cornea can actually get damaged. The suction time gets reduced and shorter, and the lenticule separation process using the Visumax 800 is designed to be a bit easier as well. All surgeries are like that. When the surgery time is shortened, it means the recovery is faster. For example, when treating a hernia, if you perform a minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery with smaller incisions instead of a full open surgery, the recovery is quicker. Although that's a bit of an extreme example, generally, the longer the surgery takes or the larger the incision, the more causes there are for a longer recovery period. Smile is already a fast procedure, but Smile Pro makes it even quicker. Because the laser and lenticule removal steps happen faster with less corneal damage, the eye heals more quickly. Less trauma means less inflammation and a shorter recovery time, so patients can return to their daily life sooner with clearer vision. Using lower energy is beneficial because creating the lenticule with a femtosecond laser involves photo disruption, which minimizes tissue damage. When the laser focuses precisely on a certain spot in the stroma, it causes the tissue there to tear. This is called photodisruption, where plasma is formed and gas bubbles develop at the focused spot of the femtosecond laser, causing the tissue there to be precisely split or torn. This process repeats, connecting many tiny tears to form a single lenticule. The laser energy used at this time in the Visumax 800 is lower in focal energy compared to the Visumax 500. Because the energy is lower, it's called floating, and this lower laser energy causes less damage and thermal injury to the surrounding tissues. Simply put, during surgery, there is what I call surgical trauma, meaning the surrounding tissues inevitably sustain some level of damage. As it tears, damage occurs and heat damage is caused to the surrounding tissue. But these effects are minimized even more. Even if the lenticule is removed with the same shape, thickness and design, the damage to the surrounding tissue is less, so the recovery is faster. You can think of these as a positive cycle. Because the surgery is done in a shorter time with less damage, recovery is faster and side effects are minimized. That's how I would explain it. Even if you don't have high myopia, it's better to get the Pro. So patients often ask me questions like, is Smile Pro better than Smile? Then, there's only one correct answer. Overall, Smile Pro is more advantageous than regular Smile for all patients. This is partly due to precision, how accurately the correction matches the patient's actual myopia and astigmatism, and also because of the lower energy and faster speed I mentioned earlier. These factors contribute to faster recovery and fewer side effects. 
However, the higher the prescription, the greater the difference becomes. That's why SmilePro's advantages stand out even more in cases of high myopia or high astigmatism. For lower prescriptions, the difference might not be as noticeable to the patient. But even then, when considering very subtle aspects of visual quality or perfection, Smile Pro is definitely superior to regular Smile. For people with high prescriptions, the difference in these advantages is usually quite clear, so since this affects their vision for life, they tend to prefer the Pro version a bit more. Not only is the recovery faster, but clinically in every aspect, the superiority of Smile Pro over Smile is clear and definite. I've been performing Smile Pro surgeries for over a year and a half now. Not only me, but other doctors are really noticing the difference firsthand. Sometimes patients worry because Smile Pro surgery hasn't been around for very long, so they fear there might be unknown side effects or drawbacks they haven't heard about yet. But now you can confidently put those concerns to rest. In fact, in Europe and some other countries, Smile is no longer used and all patients undergo surgery with Smile Pro. So going forward, Smile Pro will likely completely replace Smile. It's only a matter of time, but this is becoming the trend. I hope you can understand this and keep a more open mind towards Smile Pro. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you very much.